With October right around the corner, why not splurge a little early and kick off this Halloween season with a bang? Happy Hell Night from 1992 takes place on Halloween night, so it should be the perfect movie to get us in that spooky mood. Now I say should because I haven't seen the film yet. I've actually heard very little about Happy Hell Night. It seems no one really talks about this movie, but that shouldn't surprise anyone at this point. I cover a different horror movie every single week, and most of the time, I never hear anyone talk about the films I talk about. Maybe I just hang out with the wrong people. Regardless, let's dive in and see if Happy Hell Night is worth talking about. Welcome to the Hellbound Horror Show. Happy Hell Night is a slasher film that came out in 1992. Yeah, 92. Over a decade past the slasher prime. Horror was still dying in 92 from an oversaturated market. It wouldn't be until 1997, after the wake of Scream, before horror became marketable again. So did Happy Hell Night just come out at the wrong time? Or is this horror flick forgotten for a reason? 25 years ago, four fraternity brothers were brutally murdered on Halloween night. A priest stumbles upon the bodies being dismembered by some... something. Well, that human creature thing with the dead eyes is locked away in a mental institution without being fed. It somehow survives all these years, sitting in a cold, wet cell, waiting. In the present day, we follow a few fraternity brothers as they focus on hazing their new pledges. There's some complicated love triangle going on between real life brothers, but all of that is pretty dumb and honestly, I don't care. Now this might come as a surprise to some of you, but I don't watch these movies for their romantic subplots. Mind blowing, I know. The local fraternities measure who's cooler by having the most insane initiations. This year, Pi Sigma, I don't care, is losing the contest and they need to do some crazy initiation on Halloween night to pull ahead. Happy Hell Night! <laughs> well, they send their pledges to the mental institution to get a picture of the murderer who killed all those fraternity brothers 25 hot years ago. As you can imagine, this goes horribly wrong and the dead-eyed man breaks out and begins to murder again. Who is this dead-eyed man? Why does he attack this fraternity and how will they stop him? And even if you watch the movie, you may not get all of the answers. You see, Happy Hell Night is a bit messy and hard to follow. I wanted to like this movie, but the pacing is awful. Direction and cinematography is bland and by the books. Sound design is absent. Sure, the makeup and blood look pretty great, but the direction to capture the carnage is non-existent. And mix that with terrible sound design, you get zero impact for the death. There's no punch to it. It's so lackluster. Oh, what are you saying? Would you calm down? No. Now I've been a bit negative, so let's talk about the few positives. The design of the killer is great. A priest get up with dead eyes? Yeah, sure, it sounds a bit weird when it talks, but it works. No. The blood and gore is all nice for this type of film, and there's plenty of it. There's also plenty of TNA if you're into that. College co-eds doing an initiation and then getting picked off by an escaped mental patient is all by the books and it fits well in the slasher genre. The setup is fine. There is a character or two that is also fine and somewhat memorable, although most of them are forgettable. Every shot is well lit and things are well framed. Acting is... <sighs> Well, it's not good, but it's not the most distracting negative element in the film. You also have the dad from the Christmas story in the movie, so that's cool. Now, even though Happy Hell Night came out in 1992, it definitely feels like a cheap 80s slasher film. And I love it. There's something inherently positive about that vibe. Happy Hell Night does have some good elements. There was potential here. Honestly, the lows never get that low but the highs are really low. All the good in this movie is wasted on a below average film. <laughs> the 
if for some reason you want to buy this film, there's a Blu-ray from Code Red, but it doesn't have any special features. The film and transfer looks great, but it's a very flawed piece of crap. Happy Hell Night needs a remake. Now, I don't say that often, but the ideas and the killer are passable. They're pretty good. It's the direction and editing that really let the film down. They're just so bland, it hurts. Knowing what I know, I can't recommend this movie, but there is a silver lining to all of this. At least it's almost October. And that's all I have for tonight. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and take care, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Oh, that one was tough to get through. That was a rough slasher film, but it wasn't the worst slasher film. If you want to watch me cover the worst slasher film I've ever seen, check out this video over here. Have a good night.